so here we are at the brakes once more uh, the emergency the electronic emergency brake uh, service mode was a lot easier this time uh, I don't even think I held down on the brake pedal. I just hit the button, turned the ignition on, hit the button up three times, down three times, paused a little bit, and then I held it down. And the electric motor started uh, winding back. And here we are, and the reason why Ever since I put these rear brakes on, I did that uh, amazing, amazingly viewed video of rear brakes. Whenever I put the uh, press the brake pedal down, I get a little bit of a, I really don't know what you call it. It's just like a metal on metal noise intermittently depending on how hard I apply the brakes and I noticed that looking through at the brakes one day it's the first chance I've had to uh, had to look take it apart and look at it and I think it's almost wore out. It happened a little bit on the other side and then the tabs bent. And uh, they didn't seem to bend on the side. But the backing plate is too big. The backing plate is rubbing against the brake rotor. I believe that is the cause. I am going to fix that by grinding, taking that pad off and grinding that down or cutting that uh, that backing plate. I thought the backing plate came off the pad, but it doesn't appear as though it has. So I'm going to either take the backing plate off, I know I shouldn't, but if I have to, I have to. But I'm going to try to cut that excess off or grind it off and see if that remedies the, uh, the problem. So as you can see, the rotors haven't rusted that badly we are in Canada I've had many comments about the rust and we get the car rust checked every year which uh, they don't put it on the <laughs> brake components because it's slippery and would defeat the brakes but uh, it gets liberally applied that's why that black stuff is all over the car that's what that is the rush check it does a good job we had our RAV4 for 10 years and there was barely any rust on it we've had this for five years now and as you can see there's barely any rust except for the brake components and a little bit of surface rust here and there but overall that's uh, kind of what you expect so I'm not going to show you me taking the pad off and grinding that down because you can just go to that video and see see all that stuff except for the grinding down part but that's pretty simple and yeah I really need a garage
Yeah, I got out my old generator today. Hasn't been used in quite a while. I thought I'd uh, use it a bit today and change the oil in it for the winter. Still got to get rid of that big pile of dirt, gravel. Right, I just thought I'd update you on the rear brakes. Lots of pad left. And quite a bit of pad left. And we'll take that pad out and it's uh, pretty stubborn. That's why I'm doing a video. I decided to take a break. Gotta get some uh, get a flathead screwdriver and try to pry it out of there. And I'm gonna re-grease them and put the winter tires on. That's my main reason why I have it up in the air to put the winter tires on. It's getting to that time of year. These uh, tires still got quite a bit of tread left, and uh, it's gonna be the third year next year I've had them on which is uh, way longer than any other tire I've had. They're the Motormaster Hydro, Hydra Edge. It's a Canadian tire brand. But the tires that came with it, I got like uh, six months out of them. Then I can't remember what I bought after that. I don't know, but they were, they had like a high tread wear rating and they lasted two years, gone, bald. But those have been on there for two years. And yeah, like the pilots, that originally came on they lasted the first year and maybe a month after because I always put winter tires on the next set of summer tires they lasted the two the two year two summers minus the month or whatever so they didn't even last two summers and these are two summers and still going quite strong I'll get another year, another summer out of them anyway, for sure. And way less money than both of the other ones. I'm sure the performance is down, but uh, it's not really a performance car. It just with the low profile tires pretends to be one. Anyway, same thing on this side. I haven't got the caliper off yet, but it's, this is the side that didn't do it so much. Just did it for a bit and then stopped. And it looks like there's tabs or something on it. They got pushed up, but I don't remember them being like that when I installed them. But obviously they were. Just wondering if the front are the same way. Anyway, that's the video for the day. Gonna put some of that AT2 of AT305 or 405. I can't remember on all the rubber pieces. That seems to add to the longevity of the the bushings and stuff. Put that stuff on. And fix the brake tab, brake backing plates, and put the winter tires on, and she should be good. I'm hoping so. Get rid of that noise. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a good one.